Fifty years ago, the St. Lucie Estuary was home to an estimated 1,400 acres of oysters. The popularity of the Sunshine State led to a booming population in the intervening years. Extensive development has caused a dramatic loss of much of our natural habitat, including oyster reefs. Now we are down to a little over 100 acres of oyster reef in the St. Lucie Estuary. Oyster reefs provide food and shelter for a wide range of fish, shrimp, crabs, clams, and other species, as well as providing natural water filtration. The Oyster Reef Restoration Project plans to restore over 20 acres of oyster reef in the St. Lucie Estuary and about three and a half acres in the northwest fork of the Loxahatchee River. Restoration starts with the acquisition of culch, shell, rock, or concrete rubble, hard materials that oyster larvae can attach to, often trucked in from far away. The culch is then loaded onto a barge and carried out to the restoration site. Plastic curtains are deployed around the site to prevent sand, silt, and other particles from drifting out of the restoration site and clouding the surrounding water. Heavy equipment, such as this excavator, is then used to place the culch inside this curtain. It takes about 800 scoops this size to build an acre of oyster reef. After culch has been placed into the water, crew members enter the water to smooth the culch out. Turbidity monitoring is conducted in order to confirm the placement of the culch into the water is not increasing cloudiness. If turbidity levels are too far above background conditions, construction is halted and steps taken to solve the problem. Construction is not allowed to resume until turbidity levels have returned to background conditions. Building an oyster reef is a lot of hard work, but it is an important step toward undoing some of the damage we have done to our environment. The Oyster Reef Restoration Project is an investment in the long-term environmental and economic health of this region.